but there are a few things I want to discuss today. Uh, we want to go over some patient stories. We also want to go over some of uh, the, the sort of background on CRPS, um, some knowledge and some facts around CRPS, and really some real world uh, information that you can take right now as a patient or as a physician or a provider, incorporate into your practice, and, and maybe some things that might help you better take care of those patients. So again, you can see some of those exciting outcomes that I've seen and uh, provide patients uh, uh, hope and provide them relief. Chronic pain, you know, it's a term that is thrown around quite a bit and getting more and more attention in the media because of a lot of different reasons. But do we really understand chronic pain as a society and as a medical profession? Some say no. And within chronic pain, we have multiple diseases that are not well understood by even medical professionals, but also by society in general. One of those diseases, something called CRPS, or Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. It used to be called RSD back in the day, or reflex sympathetic dystrophy. And it's not new. It was first described, at least we think, in the Western world during the Civil War, but when you really trail it back even farther than that, you can find scientists in Europe, which are still the Western world, describing elements of the process of CRPS back in the 1600s. So this is not something that was just made up yesterday. It's not something that's really necessarily new. It might be new to you. It might be new to a you know, group of physicians or a group of nurses or a group of healthcare providers or quite frankly even an insurance company, but it's not something new. I can tell you just from a personal standpoint, um, I run into physicians and nurse practitioners and PAs, um, nurses, you know, members of the healthcare system, but insurance companies who have absolutely no clue what CRPS is. Uh, we're trying to get approval for a patient just uh, a few weeks ago and the patient has CRPS, and we were trying to get some approvals for procedures, and uh, the discussion uh, revolved around the FDA, and the insurance company literally didn't know what the FDA was. So there's a lot of primitiveness in uh, not only CRPS, but also chronic pain and, and a lot of different treatments. Our goal today is to try to explain this disease, explain some of the aspects of this disease, and hopefully get you more familiar with this disease process, some of the mechanisms of action, some of the treatment options, but also how does it affect the patient and really trying to drive home that message that this is a real disease and these patients are real people who are looking for treatment. And when we don't diagnose them correctly and when we don't treat them correctly, catastrophic problems can happen. And it's our goal to try to avoid those catastrophic problems for those patients.